Hello there, welcome back to the another tutorial. This time we will see how to upload a big file over the internet. Ok, so in the main UI layout I placed a simple button that will start the process. When the button is clicked we will get a dialog from where we can choose the file and after the file has been chosen it will be uploaded to the web server. In the main activity I referenced the button with the find view by ID method. Next let's take a look at the manifest file, implement the internet permission and also a write external storage permission because we need to access files. Then open the application dependencies and implement OKHTTP OK library that is used for network requests along with the NBSP library. This library is called the Material File Picker library and we can use it to select the file. We could write our own file picker but the video would be much much longer. In order to properly include this library don't forget to paste the link from the maven directory where the library is located. Ok, now we are ready to go. First we will deal with the user permissions. If user permissions are granted the button will be responsive to the click, otherwise user can't click on the button. So to implement that we can create a new method in which we will write code to enable the click listener for the button. Ok, so now let's do the permission checking. First we ask, if the storage permission is missing, then we create a new request to ask for the permission. When you create this request, don't forget to add your unique request code. Then we type just return because we don't want a method enable button to execute until the permission is granted. To check the user's answer regarding the permission, override the on request permission result method. Here we check if the permission is granted and if so then we call the method enable button otherwise we ask for the permission again. Now let's deal with our method. So here we create a new click listener for the button. Button starts the file picking process so this is the right spot where we can call the new implemented library for file picking. So call the new material file picker class and pass in your current activity along with the unique request code. When this code executes user gets a dialog from which he can pick the file. When the file is picked it can be referenced from the onActivity result method. So here we first check if the request code is the same from the request code which we defined above and if it is then we will create a new th thread. Why new thread? Because we must create a new network request and it shouldn't be done on the main thread. So now we can reference the selected file using the getString extra method along with the path of the file. When doing network request we must provide th the type of the file that we upload. That information we put in the header of our network request and it is called content type. For an example images usually have content type of image slash jpeg, pdf documents have content type application slash pdf and so on. So to get the content type of this file let's create a separate method. In that method we will pass in our path of the selected file. In order to get the type we first must know what is the file extension. We can get the extension using the get file extension from URL method. And then simply there is a method that's called get mime type from extension in which we provide the files extension and it will return the content type of the selected file. 
Ok, now we will build our network request. First create the new OK HTTP client instance. We will create a new multi-part form request because it allows us to upload the file and don't worry about its size. For the file itself create a new body using the create method and pass in your content type as well as the file. After that create this new multi-part request. Each form part is in a key value format. First we must provide the content type of this file. So we must use type as a key and for the value just provide the variable in which you saved the content type of the file. Now we must add a file body to the request. So first we provide the key. This key can be named anything you like. It's not like the content type from above which has to be always the same key. So we can name it like uploaded file. Then we must provide the name of the file. We can extract the name of the file from the file path. So create a new variable which contains a file path. When we reference the file path we get the full path with these slashes. We only need the information after the last slash. So we can combine substring method along with the last index of method to select only the part that we need. Okay, now the third parameter is the file body from the above. Alright, now let's create the network request with the request builder class. Just provide the URL to the PHP script that will save the file on the web server. We will soon create this PHP script. Then use the post method and provide the just created request body. To execute this network request, create a new response instance and call the new call method passing in the request itself. Let's add try catch method. Here we can ask if the response was not successful then we can show the error on the screen with the appropriate response. To make this look better, let's add a spinning icon while the file is being uploaded. To achieve that in simple way, we can use the progress dialog class. So let's create a new progress dialog and throw in some title and a desired message. So if the file was uploaded successfully, we jump to the next line and there we can close our progress dialog with the dismiss method. Ok, so Android part is now done. Let's quickly build the PHP script. So create a new file and just prepare a folder in which you will save your files. So first create a new variable that represents a path where the file will be saved. So in my case it will be saved in this folder named images. Ok, then we need to append this path with the name of the received file. In order to get the name of the file we can use the base name method. Our global variable files contains the information about received file. We reference it with the key that we typed in the Android request. In this case it was named uploaded file. Next we will save the file in the folder. So we can use the move uploaded file method and inside of it we must reference the tmp underscore name array from the global variable. tmp name contains the received file. Third parameter is just the file path where it will be saved. Ok, so if this is true we'll, we will return a successful message, otherwise error will be printed. Now we can test all this. Just a little note, before testing, make sure that your server is capable of receiving big files. Go to the PHP configuration file and increase maximum size of the post data. And then also increase the maximum allowed size for the uploaded files. Then you can restart the server.
Okay, so in the application we first accept the permission and let's select the file. First I will upload the simple image. As you see it was pretty quick because the image was only 2 megabytes. Now I will select a large file for uploading. I have a zip file that is 50 megabytes and as you can see now it takes some time. Eventually it will finish. I'll speed up the video here and as you see it is uploaded successfully with the proper name and extension. Thanks for watching guys and I see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.